Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Sam and I would love to have you guys subscribe so you won't miss out on any new videos. So today I'm back with another hygiene video and I'm super excited because this video is actually inspired by my friend Catherine. Her name is also Self Care Catherine. Go check her out. She actually posted a video a little while ago um, reviewing TikTok viral TikTok hygiene products and seeing if they're worth it or not. So I really wanted to do the same and give my opinion on the products I think that I've seen go viral on TikTok. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first product I have to share with you guys is actually the scalp massager. When I first saw this going viral on TikTok, I was very skeptical about it because I was like, does that really work? Like it just looks like a gimmicky thing. But I got this at TJ Maxx for $5 and it is the best $5 I've ever like spent in my life. It just makes your shampooing feel so much more nice and like you genuinely feel like you're scrubbing your scalp and getting all the dirt and oil out of there. I struggle with a really really oily scalp. I only wash my hair every other day but it still gets so greasy and I have been doing this for like three years so it's not like I need to train my hair longer like I think I just suffer from an oily scalp so using this really helps like get all the oil out it makes my scalp just feel super clean and it also feels so amazing on your scalp like it feels like someone is massaging your head and it feels amazing so I think that this is definitely worth the hype and I would recommend this. Continuing on with hair care, I always see people using this Maui Moisture, like their hair products and stuff like that. So I was like, I want to pick this up and I want to see what it's like. And all I have is the conditioner because I have a big bottle of Pantene shampoo in my bathroom, so I didn't need to pick up a shampoo. But the conditioner is okay. I don't think it's worth the hype. I probably would not repurchase this. It just feels like a regular shampoo or regular conditioner. I don't find that it moisturizes my hair like insanely or anything like that. Also, I have heard some people say that like it has made their hair fall out. I don't really notice it because my hair naturally falls out a lot because I have a lot of hair. But I think this is okay. Not worth the hype in my opinion and I probably would not repurchase this. But yeah. So let's just move on to body care because I know that's probably what you guys love. I always, 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 always see people using these like sparkling body scrubs from Bath and Body Works. You guys can see mine looks disgusting because the packaging is like coming off. And when I saw these, I thought they looked beautiful. Like people would use their flash and the bling effect and it would look so cute. So I was like, I really want that. But when I got them, I was really disappointed because I was like, okay, they aren't very exfoliating. Like I would honestly say these are even less exfoliating than my Dove body polishes. And you guys know Dove body polishes are pretty gentle. I think this is more so of an aesthetic thing. If you have super, super gentle skin or sensitive skin and you don't like exfoliating whatsoever, you can try this. Do I think it's worth the hype? I think it's just more for aesthetic purposes, but for using purposes, I would say no. I probably would not repurchase this. Only if it was like a really good sale and I wanted to make more TikToks. But this is the A Thousand Wishes one and people also always use the spray with it. You guys know I love a thousand wishes spray it smells so amazing and girly and feminine so the notes are pink Prosecco sparkling quince crystal peonies gilded amber and amaretto cream it smells so amazing and girly I love this fragrance I think that the body scrub is just okay not worth the hype definitely worth the hype Next few products are body washes and these are the OGX scrub and wash body washes. I was so excited. I remember these were like a really hot commodity at one point and I couldn't find them anywhere that I had to order them on Amazon. But this one is the rose water and pink sea salt and this one is the coconut and coffee one. These are definitely worth the hype, you guys. They are not exfoliating whatsoever, so I don't know why they say scrub and wash. I don't think they're exfoliating whatsoever, but the scent of it is amazing. This one doesn't really smell like rose. It kind of smells like candy to me, like Starburst or something like that. But this one, you guys, is amazing. It is so warm and gourmand. It smells like coffee. This with the Tree Hut coffee scrub. 
amazing. I'm speechless. And also, this one does come with a lotion. I didn't bring it here because I was lazy, but the lotion is absolutely amazing. Only thing I have to say about the OJX lotions is that they don't rub in very well, which I really dislike. I wish they would change the formulation just a little bit so that it would go in your skin better. It kind of leaves a white cast no matter how much I rub it in. But as for the body washes, these are completely worth it. I believe they're about $7 at Target, which I don't think is too bad considering you do get 19.5 fluid ounces and I have pretty much all of the OJX body washes. So I highly recommend these if you guys have been debating if they're worth it or not. They definitely are and you would love this. This one is more so if you don't like a warm scent and you kind of like a um, sweet candy girly scent and this one is if you like a warm scent. The sea kelp one is great if you want a fresh scent. So yeah. And of course this would not be a viral TikTok hygiene video without tree hut. I feel like tree hut became such a huge deal since like shower talk and stuff like that because I remember using Tree Hut when I was like in high school and middle school. Your girl has been a fan for a long time. This is the watermelon one. I highly recommend Tree Hut scrubs if you love an abrasive um, exfoliation. If you are not into like abrasive scrubs, you would hate this because it would be too rough on your skin. The watermelon one smells amazing. This is from their new line that came out and it smells like Jamba Juice, in my opinion. So I do think these are worth it. They make your skin feel buttery smooth after. Like, use this before you shave, and you will get the closest shave of your entire life. I highly recommend these. These are about, depending where you get them, they can be like 7 to $9 or 6 to $9, which I don't think is too bad. You don't need a lot of this, and you don't need like a lot of product to use all over your body so it will last you guys a good while. I know some people have asked me like how long do tree head scrubs last you? Honestly they last me a pretty long time. I can't give like an exact date because sometimes I switch it up but they last me a pretty decent amount of time. And to go along with that of course I had to mention the whipped shea body butter. I see a lot of people using this and I do recommend these. These are worth the hype. I love the consistency. They are pretty moisturizing without giving you that greasy, thick feeling that body butters normally do. Also, this is just so fun to like look at and play with. Like, first off, this pink color is to die for. This smells like fresh cut up fruits or like a fruit smoothie. It is so good. And I just feel like these, I can't remember how much these were. I think these are $9 as well on Ulta. A little bit pricey, but I think if you just want one, it's great. I or if you want the whole line, get it. I'm not one to judge. I have pretty much all of them, but I really do like these. And even though it might seem gimmicky, they really do moisturize my skin. And the scent does last a pretty long time with this scent. So, yeah. Okay, so the next thing that I have is the EOS Vanilla Cashmere Shea Better 24 Moisture Body Lotion. This stuff went crazy on TikTok, you guys. I know so many of you guys were saying like you can't find this because it's always sold out. Try ordering it online like through Target.com because I find that that's an easier way instead of going into every store or try to track it within a store. This stuff smells like cupcakes. It smells amazing. This product with the OGX Shea Butter body wash is absolutely to die for. This smells like a cake batter or cupcake batter. Beautiful scent, extremely moisturizing. Now is this a little bit pricey for a lotion? I would say kind of. It's about $7.99, so eight bucks. And I wouldn't say that's super cheap, but it's worth it in my opinion. I got my sister hooked on this one. She loves this. She loves the formula of this and she has said that this stuff really is amazing and the packaging is adorable so I recommend if you guys want a good body lotion. I'm blanking. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I have is actually a fragrance, and this is the Mix Bar, what is it called? Perfume. This is in Blackberry Tonic. I'm not sure if this went super, super viral, but I just remember my sister sending me this TikTok that had like a million views with it, and she was like, oh, you would love this, and I do. Now, I do think Soli Notes is better. I feel like that one should go more viral, but... 
Mix Bar is still really amazing and I do recommend them if you're looking for a affordable perfume. These are I think $18.99 at Target and they're sold only at Target I believe. So pick it up. I have Blackberry Tonic. This one smells kind of like a berry note but it has a little more mystery to it like or like musk to it. I don't know. Mix bar scents are definitely a lot more sultry and musky in my opinion. I personally don't go for super musky scents, but I still think they're really good. The lasting power is honestly pretty amazing. I would say six, seven hours, which I think is decent for like a $20 perfume. So yeah, this stuff is great, worth the hype. The next thing I have is a oral care product and this is TheraBreath. You guys know this was the craze back when like TikTok was first like blowing up. I remember I couldn't find this anywhere and this is the one in Sparkle Mint. Now do I think these are worth it? A hundred percent. Are they a little pricey? Yes they are. They're about eight dollars but it is amazing. It leaves my mouth feeling the cleanest it's ever felt. Ever since I started using this, I just feel like I have to use this now because it's just so good and it makes my breath stay fresh for a long time. This has no alcohol, it's alcohol free, and it isn't burning. I hate that burning feeling that mouthwashes give you, like Listerine, I hate that feeling. This one doesn't do it, but it still leaves your mouth feeling really clean, which is crazy. So pick this up. I think this is definitely worth the hype. And I also forgot to show you guys, but this is the Mix Bar Hair and Body Mist. I have a lot of these too, like pretty much almost all of the fragrances in this. And this is also another one that went viral. I know Cloud Musk is the one that originally like popped off. I personally don't like that fragrance. I don't like the scent of it. I feel like it's a little too musky for me but the hair and body mist is amazing I love that you can just like spray this in your hair which we will do oh almost got in my eyes but I love the <laughs> I love the like concept of this because sometimes I'm afraid to use my body mist like my Bath and Body Works body mist on my hair because I'm like scared of the alcohol content this might have the same alcohol content and I just don't know it but I really do like the way it makes your hair smell. This is perfect for your hair. I mainly use this only for my hair because sometimes, you know, when your hair is down and you're like whipping it, you know, you want it to smell good. You want people to like smell your hair and, or like when they give you a hug and they like kind of smell your hair and they're like, ooh, like you smell good. I recommend this. I don't know if that made any sense, but I do think this is worth the hype. These are $8.99, so a little bit cheaper than the perfumes and they also have like roller balls and stuff so yeah alrighty you guys so that is the end of today's video let me know your thoughts and your opinions on the products that I showed do you think certain ones are worth the hype or do you think they're not worth the hype also which products do you think should be more hyped up on TikTok because I would love to know but thank you guys so so much for watching today's video if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to comment like and subscribe and follow me on tiktok and i will see you guys in my next one bye uh, uh.